Taking things apart started at a young age. Uh, my, my parents were hands-on. Um, you know, my dad was a carpenter, my mom was an electric technician, so, you know, I was always, I had a workshop in my bedroom and my dad had a wood shop out in the garage. So I, uh, I explored that way quite a bit. But it, in terms of where I am here, is, is I was interested in graphic design um, and I went to college for graphic design. And after about, uh, you know, a semester, I, I there's no way I was going to sit at a desk and, and, and do this. Um, and photography's always been a part of my life, you know, family life. So I uh, jumped over into a major in photography and it, it just kind of went from there. When I first started, I created seven objects. I did re disassembled seven objects and I laid them out. Uh, and then I felt like they needed sort of a, a component uh, to them. And that's when I decided, you know, we have this very regimented disassembly piece, a laid out, organized piece. So it, it felt right to do something where I just throw it through the air and freeze the, freeze the pieces. So we're literally dropping the um, parts through the air. The old Macintosh was probably, um, at, and you know, it's the cover of the book, um, was one of the most interesting and, and uh, appealing one to me. And, and visually, and, and you know, the, there's different areas within it uh, that covered a lot of different technology. It's quite amazing to be a part of the Smithsonian and, and you know, having created uh, quite an extensive body of work um, and you know, where we are in, in today's world and understanding technology, I think it, quit, it fit in quite well with, with their mandate and, and we have a lot of uh, craft, uh, a lot of you know, kids learning about uh, you know, different areas and learning how to you know, deal with uh, technology in this sort of aspect. I like when people have their own, you know, generally it's like a nostalgia when they, when they look at the pieces. Um, so that's totally, that's great. I mean, I love how when I see a phone, it reminds me of back when I was a kid. And that's, um, but the reason I created the pieces was to, uh, I guess, show, you know, not just if this is an object, we use it and disregard it, but this is what's involved in it and this is what's inside of it and, you know, how we can create things for the future. Um, you know, at, at, in the original seven pieces, um, each one was good. They were still completely working, but people, I mean, because technology just sort of outdoes itself, uh, becomes uh, obsolete so fast, um, we end up consuming a lot and that's sort of where I wanted to you know hey look at look at what we're doing here look at look at all these pieces and parts what it takes and where they go afterwards you know a phone used to be it was the same phone for 20 years like there wasn't so much you know it's just the nature of technology but how can we create something now that will last us longer um, and not have it, it come obsolete in two years uh, there's always something new coming out and we're always looking for the next, next greatest, best thing. I guess the idea is to just think about everything, you know, all the pieces that you have in your, in your life and, and um, just a different perspective on things.